All right, I'm back. Poll ended. Generic fighter guy. With 40% of the votes. The chat has spoken. I'm really curious to see how this goes because I don't think we, uh, we're, we're not optimized. Like I'd probably do a lot of things a little bit differently here. So I, I wonder how challenging these guys are. Like I'd probably distribute my skills and um, talents a little differently normally. And also I probably wouldn't have given up so much experience to allies early on. So we're probably like a level or two shorter than we might be otherwise. Oh, you know what I'm, I'm, I messed up. I have a cloning potion. And I can make a clone, but I don't have anything gear to give them. It's okay. So here's generic fighter guy. Be gone, worm. I have no time for mortals. You're not a worthy opponent. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Just like that? Is he hostile? Sambarg webbed him. Nice. All right, what's going on here? Dual shot. He has eight resistance to piercing. That's a mild problem. Oh, because he has good armor. And he multi-shotted us back. Oh, he multi-shotted, so he hit, he hit our Beholder and us. He only did 7 damage to us. Because we resist as much piercing as he does. Take that. I forgot to buff up. I should have buffed a little bit. We're fighting the generic fighter guy, Drake. That means we have godlike resilience? I guess so. We have the same exact plate armor. Plus three. And what weapon does he have? He has a holy longbow of fire. So I actually have my ring of fire resistance on right now. So he's not doing much fire damage. Like how many? I only have nine potions of heroism. Let's go ahead and use one of those. May as well buff up, right? I should have done this before. Use a potion of full strength. That was a big hit. And let me use a cat's grace. All right, let's uh, try and outheal this. Okay. And now we unload with our multi-strikes or our dual shots. I can't even get into a, a shot where I can hit him. There we go. Shot. Right. Trying to back up from this dude. He's pretty tanky. It's a good thing you got those extra healing potions. Yeah. Um, I wish I had bought more. <laughs> if we we're gonna try and fighting some of these guys, I would have wanted more resources. I really wasn't sure what we were gonna do in here, or entirely what to expect. Right, let's heal up a bit. Who blew the horn? Oit did. Oh yeah? I got a horn too. Wait, you got two summons? 
What's that about? <laughs> need to heal. Oh, snap. I might die right here. I I drank a superior healing potion. I dropped like 30 or 40 hit points there. Where did I drink the potion? Uh, you restore 50 hit points. Oh, he's using the sword. Whoa, he does a lot of damage with that sword. Yeah, he did 49 points with a dual strike from the sword. And then he got another action and he did another 45 points of damage. So he did about 100 points of damage to me that round. Yikes, I did not expect that. That's a big jump from what he was doing. Uh, I think I need to blink and hope I don't die to a ranged attack. Okay, this is a, an ideal blink location. The summons actually didn't do any damage to me. Oh, I think uh, our Beholder died. Hold on. God damn, these guys are tough. Can I wait out the summons? Let's try dual shotting him some more. All my buffing that I did earlier on has worn out. Wands? Yeah, I was wondering if I had anything worth using early on, and I'm not sure if I do. I guess if we're going to be in a, a battle of shooting each other, I could drop like a acid cloud on him. Okay, he just moved out of it. And he has resistance. Yeah, that wasn't super, super good. Okay, I can barely outheal his attacks. Dude, why is he so fast? He must have some good, uh, <laughs> good stats there. Confusion? I wonder if Confusion does work on him. That's a good point. Confusion's super strong. I didn't think about that one. And now you have me curious. Yeah, he resisted. All right, how about we blink again? Heal. Pushing to speed and regen. We're not doing a ton of damage to him with our arrows. Oh, did it say immune? It said resist over his his sprite. I didn't notice what it said in the, the log and it said something different. Immune to your confusion attempts. Yep, good call. 
You have better arrows. That's a good point, too. I'm sure I do. Wonder how vulnerable to sliming he is. Um, because if we're gonna use arrows anywhere, we may as well use them now. And I do have some that are a little bit better than the ones I have right now. Um, kind of curious about sliming him. He just okay. So he's not immune to it, but he probably has good stats to get out of it. it says he's still caught in slime, but I think he left it. Interesting. So his motion ability is decreased. That's good. And then, how about we use like plus three arrows of energy? Plus three arrow of poison? Immune to poison. Okay. Bullets of explosion. Plus three unholy arrow of energy. Sounds pretty good. The slime vanishes. Okay, he wasn't actually standing in the slime. Um, he has energy resistance. He has acid resistance. And... Well, this is from my... isn't from the arrow, but also necrotic resistance. Looks like he has seven resistance across the board for elemental, about. So I think just any plus three arrows are going to be the beneficial here. Why is he only doing two damage to me from there? Oh yeah, he can't see me over here. I need to be darker. We could win like this eventually. I can out consume him. He's healing slowly, but I think if we just keep blinking and then engaging right after healing, that will be all right. Oh, new ammo equipped. So I got plus two holy arrows of lightning. He's probably immune to holy and lightning. Yep. So these are just plus two arrows for him. So I may as well just equip like the plus three arrow of energy. He's going to be immune to the energy, but take plus three damage. Press Q. That's just been cycling for me. Plus three arrow of poison. Arrow of energy plus one. Like, there's no way this is better than, like, half of my arrows. I don't know why it's not choosing the, the best arrow. Blink does seem like it tries to put you pretty far away and not just drop you randomly somewhere. You might have made a burger? Heck yeah, man. I could go for a burger right now. Do 
Do I have plus four arrows? Did you see those? Ooh, I do. Oh, I have unholy arrows of cold plus four. Although that's just plus four for him. <laughs> Well, he's going to close into us. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Cat's Grace. Now I'm going to use Bull Strength. Actually, is Heroism just better all around? Plus two body and spirit, and plus three bonus melee and range skills. Let's use Heroism. Oh, he has Health Surge. Which turns his stamina into... Health. The auto ammo thing is control plus Q. Oh, thank you. Well, I hit that now. 52 arrows of slime. Oh, okay. I see it has the AA thing up there. So what did it shoot him with? Arrow plus three. Oh, it shot a slime arrow and then an arrow plus three and one volley. That's really cool. I couldn't even do that if I wanted to. <laughs> That's really strong. That's really handy. Instead of wasting a second slime arrow in a dual shot. Yeah, I noticed that we were doing 20 on some hits. Um, that heroism potion helped a lot. I like how this is mixing in an arrow of slime in each of my volleys. So he's like perpetually slimed, which is uh, negative effects on him. Uh, I need to recover stamina. Oh, he's right there. We're holding him down. Ooh, that was a bad blink. Guess that does happen. I want to use another heroism potion. Use bull strength and speed as well. Oh, it looked like I lost health, but I think my, yeah, raising my body just increased my health a bunch. Hey, don't heal. Wait, I think we're onto something. Why is he not moving? It might be because I keep shooting him with slime arrows. <laughs> and he can't see me, so he can't shoot me back. It's just swapping between my plus two everlasting arrows and my slime arrows. I, I, I think he might be gaining health over time though. I don't think I can out damage his healing like this. Unfortunately. <laughs> I, I bet we can still pull this off uh, with my dual shots um, talent though. Hang on. Yes. Here we go. I 
he has to like um pass his his uh like search check versus my stealth every time I move is what's going on right now. Oh, he's hitting me right now. Uh, don't hide behind the column. Multi-shot hacks. Damn. He healed up a bit. We are so close. What is this Solar doing? Oh, he just used Die Hard. So we dropped him to zero, but his talent um, saved him. Got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine watching a god archer battle and for like five minutes one guy is stuck in slime while the other guy gets the other just gets put pin cushioned with arrows as he heals it off. <laughs> there could be a situation where two people just shoot each other forever and no one can out damage the other's healing. And you essentially get soft locked. Sick. Holy Longbow of Fire plus three. Is that better than what I have? Probably not. Divine Essence. This is the Divine Essence of a God. You wonder what will happen if you consume it. The mortal is dangerous. Um, okay. I don't know if I have the resources to fight another one of these guys. I did only use half of my healing potions. I, endurance potions are the issue, though. I'm only down to one endurance potion. So I think we're gonna... Mother, he killed Oi. <laughs> oh, man. So I think we're gonna be satisfied with that. But next time, I know a little bit better of what to expect. Look at the blood all over the, the floor. Should I talk to you now? What does the Divine Essence do? I feel like it's gonna do something bad. Oh, I didn't drink my beer. Use a tankard, your health is restored three points. Oh, robed figure, I sense the divine essence in you. Tone, are you ready to leave your mortal life behind and take your place among the gods? Divine essence automatically consumed. So that was like a key. <laughs> you thought it was decoration? <laughs> Alright. Ascend to godhood. Congratulations, Tone, you are now a god. You have ascended to the godhood. <laughs> so be a godling, you're just a new entry in my long list of enemies. Oh, this is cool, they all say something. the music. Is there an extra long pause right now because Oit's not around to give his line? <laughs> and it's his turn. It actually looks like it stopped at Oit. <laughs>
That is sweet. All right. I guess it takes you to the title screen, but it took us to the update available screen. <laughs> wow, that was fun. So we got the Demi God ending or the God ending. I don't know what they're technically called. We could have been throwing spears at them. Oh, I know, Nikolai. I I do kind of, in hindsight, I, I guess it's easy to say in hindsight, that maybe we, I should have just gone for a safe plus three returning spear. Instead of going for like the, the net like plus six spear that had like a pretty low chance to begin with. Because um, I think that would have done some sweet damage. N next time I get the opportunity to do that, I think we definitely want to do that. But I don't know how often you get like an artifact returning spear and the dex gloves and all that stuff. Is there any healing ability? There are um, talents that heal you. That's what he kept using, um, Health Surge. And it basically transfers your stamina into your health. So I don't know how good that is overall for a situation like that. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, I can see how you would you would fight all of them one by one, but I definitely wasn't prepared for it that run. Thank God he didn't just keep going melee at you. Yeah, that got scary for a second there. When he got two turns dual striking for like 25 a pop, I healed for 50 and he did 100 damage to me. Thank God that blink was effective because I could have easily died that turn if I like blinked somewhere where he could have like just shot me with his arrows. I didn't have much health at all at that point. That was really close. Slamming him in the darkness was hilarious, though. It's too bad it was, like, net giving him health. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get a lot of value out of my slime arrows all game, but they were pretty awesome there. Yeah, that's a neat... That's an interesting endgame. It, it's hard to do, like boss fights like that in, in roguelikes and not have them play out similar to how that one just went. Where it's just kind of like using lots of resources until like you run out or um, someone gets big hits in and stuff like that. Would I have done anything differently knowing what I know now? Like in just that fight or like in the whole game? Like I wasted some talents um, early on in the game. Like, I, I got the Great Reach talent. I never used it. Um, I wonder if I... I don't know. I want to look at some stuff for the next character. I'm wondering if I really needed as much mind as I, I used. Maybe I should have needed, used more physical stats. I wouldn't have used as many allies early on, I think. I really don't like how they take your experience. Because we might have ended up being stronger at the end otherwise. Um, now nah, you're good, dude. Is there a slime melee weapon? Yeah, we saw a few melee weapons with slime on them, I think. Actually, the Oit, the guy we just killed, had a slime melee weapon. I don't know how rare that is. Sliming him with Reach would have been hilarious. That's true. <laughs> he probably has um, a reach talent, though, but I bet you you could do that with some enemies and it would be very strong. And I think you can coat a weapon with slime, but I think it, it wears off. I don't know if his slime weapon is permanent or that was just temporary until he used it once. That's awesome. Got a, not even just the base Zorbus one. We got to ascend to a god, which uh, is pretty sweet. Got that on our, our first run. Pretty awesome. And uh, looking forward to playing some more of this. I don't know when we'll start. I'll do the next run of this. It'd be cool to get another run in during the tournament or something. Now that I've played a bit. But there's a few like builds and stuff I want to try. Um, definitely some cool stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that was fun. Thanks a lot for hanging out.